Hey guys, my name is Octoman and this is part 17 of my turn-based bell system tutorial. In the last part we were creating all the buttons for hero inputs dynamically and in this part we will actually take care of the hero's damage to the enemy. So who have followed the whole series should know what we are going to do in this part. Um, and it wouldn't be that hard to achieve basically. The first thing we want to make sure is that our heroes actually have one kind of base attack. So for hero 1 I'm going to choose um, the slash ability and drag this one in the attacks list which we were creating some videos ago. In the second attack slot of or basically in the first attack slot of the hero 2 we are going to take and use hammer swing ability and you may have a lot of other um, abilities you can use in this point. Um, so what you need to make sure is that at least one of our attacks are going to be in that slot. So otherwise you will later on get a null reference error so make sure everything is in there. So let's get started by going to the bell state machine itself and I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see this one a bit better. The only change we need to do is in input 1, in the function input 1. What we need to do is for once we are clicking the input 1 button which is the attack button we already go and uh, choose the corresponding attack we are going to take. If you're going to add more attacks into the attacks list, how we were just doing some seconds ago, then you can also go and choose a random one or you can, can just create one public variable and then place only one um, attack into that spot. So what we do is we say hero choice dot choose an attack is going to be equal to and now we need to take the information directly um, from the hero we are currently managing and this is going to be hero to manage and the hero to manage of course stores um, or hero to manage at position 0 as element 0 in the heroes to manage list we are currently on what we need is of course we need to get the component um, hero state machine so we read out the information of the possible attacks basically and what we want to do is we want to call hero and its attacks and what we want to take is the first element in the attacks list so the first attack in the attacks list are, is of type base attack as we already have as choose an attack and we take the first element out of it again if you have more than just one base attacks in that attacks list then you can go over and choose a random one by just looping through all possible attacks and then just take any one or any attack you want uh, randomly so I just want to make sure that I take the first one in this um, particular list and that's it for the battle state machine don't forget to save everything and now we are going to the hero state machine the hero state machine or basically the hero needs actually to do damage we already have a take damage function in here but we are not able to do damage to anyone so what we need to say is we create a do damage function as we have done already in the enemy state machine you can go over and copy and paste all that of that stuff uh, from the enemy state machine I'm going to yeah type out everything for you so we create a new function and call this one uh, void do damage and of course we want to make sure that we are calculating the, the complete damage we are going to do correctly so we create a new float a temporary one in this case and call this one calc damage as we have done already in the enemy state machine what we want to calculate is we want to add the base damage or the current attack damage with the currently chosen attack so what we do is pretty simple we say hero dot current attack plus and now we go over and add from the possible attacks or from the attacks we just chosen already so we need to call the bell state machine once again so bsm dot perform list and what we go in is we read the the handle turn from the perform list at position zero because it's the one who's currently doing the performance and we say choose an attack dot attack damage so now we are going to add the the, uh, the attack damage of the chosen attack we just 
um, yeah, have chosen with input 1 or as a magic attack in input 4, I believe, then we can just add this one to the current possible attack. Why am I doing this? If you can, uh, if you have an effect of an, on a an hero directly, like, um, I don't know, decrease attack by anything, by a poison attack or anything else, then the current attack might not be uh, the original attack for some turns, so we can actually reduce current attack and will still work. So it will just decrease the current attack or the base attack basically and then we'll add the attack of the corresponding or the chosen um, attack basically. Okay, and also we need to call the take damage function in the enemy state machine, but we don't have one. So what we do is we go from uh, to the enemy state machine for now and go there we have the do damage already but we need to create a new public uh, void take damage function so we can take the damage from the hero and yeah um, calculate this one in or call this function once anything is coming in as a take damage and of course it needs one attribute or a one argument in this case of type float and this is going to be the get damage amount so the damage amount we are getting from calculated from the hero state machine itself or from the hero directly itself okay and in take damage we just say enemy dot current hp which is a current health basically decreased so minus equals the get damage amount there we go, and that's it. Also, we can ask if there is, um, if the enemy HP, so enemy.courageP is going to be small or equal to zero. Then we can just set this guy's HP basically to zero, so we don't have any underflow. So enemy.courageP is going to be equal to zero. And of course, we want to set the state of the enemy to be dead. So we say current state going to be equal to turn state dead. And that's it. That's the same stuff as we have done for the heroes. Don't forget to save the script and go back to the hero state machine. And in the do damage function we just call now the enemy we want to damage or we are actually we have chosen to do damage. So it's going to be enemy to attack dot get component of course we need to get the enemy state machine out of this whoops enemy state machine and what do we want to call is we want to call the take damage function and what we want to pass in is the calculated damage we just calculated one step before don't forget to save so now that's pretty much it, except for the hero state machine, we'll also need to go into the iNumerator and call the do damage function, as you can see, in the iNumerator time for action. At that point, after we were waiting for 0.5 seconds to do the actual damage, we can call the function do damage. And now we are done. So with that simple steps, we were able to make our heroes able to do damage to the enemies and mm, send them into this turn state dead if they have no HP left, as we already have done for the enemies. Okay, so let's go over and test this one out and see if we have any problems or any um, errors, but we don't have, so yeah, let's get started and test it out. We can also go over and add some debug lines if we want to to see how many damage we just have done okay there we go the battle starts now we have the possibility to do input attack enemy 2 and now he is just gone over and did the damage to enemy 2 so let's go and check the, uh, the HP and as you can see the current HP gone down from 120 to 96 so now we can go over and use a, any magic attack, maybe fire to enemy too. What we can do is, well not now anymore I believe, is we can go to the battle state, uh, the, to the battle manager and can see that hero 1 used the fire 1 spell, I hope you can see this, used the fire 1 spell to enemy 2 
and enemy two of course should have decreased health um, so where is it there it is as you can see enemy two, two only have 61 left so what we can do right now is we can keep continuing attack enemy two until it is in um, the turn state dead so it's not going to be able to attack anymore but there are several other problems because let's see if enemy two is already dead as you can see it is in um, oh we don't ha oh yeah here it is it is in the turn state dead but the problem is when I go over and try to attack him again I can still attack enemy two because the button did not update it so once a hero or an enemy in this case is going to die we need to update the whole enemy list and um, but this is part of the next video also we might go over and change um, or delete or destroy the game objects or put them into any object pool but i don't think it is needed for that small battle scene so so yeah, now I um, yeah died in here, and something is pretty strange. I already saw that there is a small problem already, which hasn't updated the UI as you have seen. But this is all stuff we are going to do in the next video, like graying them out or destroying them and all the other things. Also, in the next parts, we will start to create some small world where we can move around. And once we are moving, I don't know, for a different amount of time or anything else, then we go over and drag in or get dragged into the battle directly. Also, we need to make sure that we can end the battle when we have just one, when no enemies are left. But again, all of that stuff is going to be, um, yeah, stuff for the next videos. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. So if you found this video helpful in any way, feel free to sum this video up. Um, also leave me any comments if you have questions about that or anything else. And of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.